It's time to brighten your Disney day with another episode of the Castle to Castle Podcast. 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 Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Castle to Castle podcast where we're here to brighten your Disney day. You're on with Ron and Jennifer and Kat. Hey, Emily unfortunately could not make it tonight. So our lovely guest host Kat has stepped into the role tonight uh, to share some Mm -hmm. Disney news and knowledge with you all. Not behind the camera either tonight. (laughs) (laughs) So, kicking off our news segment today, we'll let Kat go first as the guest host of honor. Mm -hmm. So, what is our first piece of news of the day? So, we're going to go to Hollywood Studios at Woody's Lunchbox. They took away the seating that was needed to go away and be fixed a long time ago. (laughs) Before they even opened. Um, (laughs) Before they even opened. (laughs) Before they even opened. Uh, So, now you get to go sit by Galaxy's Edge and enjoy your Pop-Tarts. Yeah, in the middle of the walkway. (laughs) That's a crowded (laughs) area. I mean... It can't be any worse than where it was before. No, it really can't. Scouting out tables like, mm-hmm. are you done? Oh, God. I always Can hated I have that. have your table? I loved Woody's Lunchbox. I think the food there is mm-hmm. delicious. So I love doing the loaded tachos. Mm-hmm. Like, those are one of my favorite things. But getting a seat there just sucked mm-hmm. every time. Hopefully, they'll also put more shade over there. Because we all know Toy Story Land has no shade. Yeah, it's like <laughs> a, it's like when they built this. They're like, hmm, mm-hmm. Florida, July. People want to sunbathe. Let's, let's put him put in a his, frying pan. Let's put as little a shade as possible. <laughs> hey, oh, listen. they're going to wait two hours for a roller coaster? <laughs> Psh, they'll get a nice tan by the time they're done. Oh, they want to sit down and cool off and eat? Nah, we're going to put just enough shade on the table so your food can stay in the shade. <laughs> but no, your neck and arms can just fry all day. Listen, you're supposed to be in a backyard. What happens in the backyard? You sunbathe, you fry. You find a tree and sit underneath it in shade. That means they need to have like a gigantic tree back there, but they didn't. Or give me a gigantic umbrella. <laughs> give me one big umbrella stand. Which is true. Make the concrete look like a picnic table. Really be put size and one big umbrella, umbrella in there and give me shade. Mm-hmm. Not and you know what? these little drink umbrellas. Yeah, <laughs> and people have awnings in their backyards. It's okay. We can have an awning. Or you build a fort. I'll take some sticks and leaves. As long as I don't have sun on me, wanna, I'm you, happy. You want to put your stuff in a treehouse and you have to like use the little rope thing. Heck bring yeah. It <laughs> bring it up. You got to climb up the tree to go. It's kind of weird, though, because they took that all the way down to the dirt. Like, they really they, did. They, like, they even pulled up the concrete. concrete. That was, I feel, was that necessary? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it makes me wonder how they're, re- how they're doing the new type of seating. Mm-hmm. And I'm wondering if it's going to be, like, fixed tables. Yeah. Like, you can't move the tables and it'll be mm-hmm. like... Table, 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 table. Like, just were those long... tables bolted down like, to the I feel cement? Like they were hard enough to move to begin with. I think like, they hey. were too. Because maybe the stuff, maybe the area got damaged just from them removing everything. It might have. Yeah, I mean, they were fit. I, I believe they were. The chairs weren't, but I believe the tables were. But they were also in a weird, like, spread out pattern. Mm-hmm. They weren't like you could have fit a lot more tables in that section just naturally, changing the the layout of the tables mm-hmm. and that's what i'm hoping that they're doing the new way it's laid out it's going to have a lot more uniformity to it mm-hmm. and be a little bit more in unison do we have a date for when that's i have no done? idea okay. i will be honest i missed even that they were doing it until i started seeing tiktoks of concrete gone and they're like what these lunchbox has been destroyed and i'm like what and then i started watching it mm-hmm. so i i missed the news update on that one i didn't know that they were doing that mm-hmm. gotcha but yeah, so hopefully we'll know something soon. Mm-hmm. The restaurant's still open. Yep. They are mobile order. Now you just sit at these randomly laid out tables in between Galaxy's <laughs> Edge and and the bathrooms at Toy Story. Gotta Land. love it. Yeah, you gotta gotta rock with that one. All right, Jen. We have a little bit more of a sadder news from Jen. One of my favorite animals are dolphins, so I really enjoyed watching them at <laughs> Epcot, and now they're going away permanently. It's not even like they're gonna like refurbish the area and bring the dolphins back. They're totally getting rid of them. Yeah, they're sending them to another zoo, aren't they? They are sending them to um, Golfarium Marine Adventure Park in Fort Walter Beach, Florida, in October. Ooh. So they're they're fully going away, and then they are getting rid of one of their manatees, Lou, and that oh. they're getting rid of Lou, <laughs> and they're gonna bring. Um, a different one in. 
that they're going to replace it. So they're still going to have two manatees. They're just swapping one out to get a new one. And people, I don't know, some people, they're, they're, they're being respectful towards the decision, stating that this is, you know, for the well-being of the animals, that this is something that, you know, they are not meant to be at Epcot. They need to be elsewhere. But that at the same time, they're still going to like another park. They're still going to be an aquarium somewhere. It's not going to be like they're going to be released out into the wild. It's still the same type of situation, but maybe just they have more resources. Yeah. At this point, I don't know if they could go back to the wild because of how long. I mean, which that, if you that's go watch true. my favorite sea cow, because you know I have to take RJ. Every time we go, we go to Living with the Seas and got to go check on the sea cow. Got to go see the manatees. Yep. Um, so I don't think they could actually safely release them back to the wild. I don't know about the dolphins. Being Is the manatee going to the use. same park too? That's what I'm trying to find in this news report, and I am not oh, seeing it, where the where Lou the manatee is going. I don't know where that per, that's going. But all of this they said. Um, so it just says Disney said Lou will move to a new home as soon as Wednesday, September 11th. The changes are part wow. of the overall recommendations from the Manatee Rehabilitation Partnership and U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services. Disney said a new manatee is already set to join Little Joe, the other manatee under its care. So I don't know if they're sa- no stating warning. that they're going to be at Epcot to reach a certain part in their rehabilitation yeah. and then put them elsewhere. I don't know. You know, um, for those of you like me who didn't know where exactly Fort Walton Beach is, it's Destin, Florida. So it is actually the most, like, tip of Florida. Basically, you're in Alabama. Um, So you're only about two-ish. Wouldn't that be north, not the tip? Because... I, I'm sorry, like the northern tip of Florida. Oh, like, if like you like, don't like Florida's kind of like a well, like how Florida kind of like cuts laterally across and then goes yeah, down. That's what I thought you meant okay, like you're down. all the way to the left of that okay. lateral. Mm-hmm. Um, you could sneeze and hit Alabama. Oh, okay. Um, oh, so it's that far up. Yeah. It's that oh, far up, I kept thinking it was and, like south. No, up and to the left. Oh, wow. it, it's a suburb of Destin, Florida. Huh. So if you're really that attached to the dolphins, <laughs> it's only like a two hour drive three hour drive from orlando (laughs) and you can go see the dolphins there so Mm -hmm. forget the day at epcot just get a rental car drive at the destin and see the dolphins up there before you go to disney (laughs) (laughs) yeah fly into destin then drive down to disney that was always my routine though like i would always go to look at the dolphins when when i was at epcot and now i cannot be able to do that anymore you know what i i will say and i might get some slack for this one i don't really like the seas I love it. (laughs) I drag you. (laughs) I love the Nemo ride. Mm -hmm. And I love the aquarium when you walk down the hallway and you're Mm -hmm. like in the little circle room in the aquarium. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I feel like the seas is so... Like a waste of space? Yes. And it's so underrated. Mm -hmm. I feel like Disney could do so much more. And I'm not talking a new ride or anything like that, but like... I feel like the education piece gets lost a little bit. Mm-hmm. I feel like they could do more with it. And mm-hmm. I, that's why I do appreciate the manatee section mm-hmm. because they have that person that will come out and talk about the manatees. They'll feed them the heads mm-hmm. of lettuce and you get to keep watching the manatees come up and just like whoosh, take the whole right. head of lettuce. That's fun to me. Mm-hmm. And then you get into the other rooms where like the baby seahorses and like the little tanks and stuff. And mm-hmm. you really feel like you're in a museum or at the zoo. You know, you don't feel like you're mm-hmm. in Disney. Well, I know that the restaurant, the Cove, looks into that. If oh, any yeah, of you yeah, yeah. watch the Disney World episode of Full House, that there is the Coral uh, Reef. You said the Cove. The you Cove. Said the cove. Oh, it's I'm coral sorry. Reef. The Coral okay. Reef. Coral Reef restaurant. <laughs> sorry, the Coral Reef. I'm thinking about there's a restaurant in Michigan called. <laughs> I don't know. Why I was thinking. About. So the Coral Reef. You sat inside a restaurant and you have the big, huge tank windows, and yep. you're able to see inside where they are doing. Um, Fantastic tank dives, restaurant. all that type mm-hmm. of stuff. Fantastic restaurant. Highly 10 out of 10 recommend. Great restaurant. And then there was an episode of Full House where they're there at was. Disney and that um, Joey and Jesse are doing their radio show underneath, under like in the tank, in the, tank, yeah. in the dome, and then they have to leave the tank then to go back, you know. And Yeah, and that's when you see Danny and, and uh, I can't think, Vicky. Uh, Vicky mm-hmm. And they get the phone call that Michelle is lost. Mm-hmm. And like you're just going to track him down at the restaurant like that. But yes. that's a whole nother episode for a whole <laughs> nother thing. But... Um, I don't know. I just wish they would do more with it. I, I like the season, the concept. I like the season, its location with the land. Mm-hmm. I just wish they would do a little bit more with it. Like the living with the land ride is so much fun. And I know it's like living with the land. Who cares? 
I enjoy because I like learning about the conservation. I mm-hmm. like going through the greenhouse and seeing the plants. I like mm-hmm. hearing how they're doing all these different um, agricultural, technological, mm-hmm. technological, agricultural, <laughs> technological advances and, and different ways mm-hmm. to grow plants. And like when you see the big fish tanks and how they're breeding fish mm-hmm. and then the fish waters are cycled to feed the plants and then the plants are used to clean out the water that gives to the fish. It's like so cool how they do that. Mm-hmm. Thing. I feel like you could do that at the seas. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like they that a was version the section. Of it, not, I'm not, not eating the, out of that tank. Don't you dare! A version they, of it. It's kind of like that was an area that they left go and just like they yeah. weren't really thinking about how to really improve it, like they were doing with the rest of the park. Yeah, and like you, they had a turtle talk with Crush a few years ago, and that was a success. Mm-hmm. Super cute show. Mm-hmm. I love watching the the TikTok clips. Like when a girl asks, like, "I like turtle soup." He's like, whoa, <laughs> like that's funny. Mm-hmm. I just wish they would do a little bit more with it. And mm-hmm. so yeah, who knows now? What now that they're like in a way restructuring it? I feel like yeah, I'm I'm hoping that's the sign of things to come. They're taking the dolphins out because they're doing something else that they can't have the dolphins anymore, mm-hmm. or they're going to be doing something different to replace it. And now instead of dolphins, you know, we're we're going to get humpback whales. You know, I I don't know, but like. <laughs> Tank space that's the thing like you that know was what the i perfect, mean yeah. like you're gonna replace it with something different something equally fun and new and conservation focused and mm-hmm. you know take off from there i guess we'll see i'm just gonna miss them i know it's sad i am happy to get another manatee though that they're not just mm-hmm. cutting the manatees yeah i'd be yeah. very sad if they were just cutting the manatees wish, i kind of almost wish that okay if they were gonna take these dolphins away that they would brought in a new group to rehabilitate them yeah like why are, i don't get why they're not doing the same thing like why are you getting rid of a manatee and bringing another one in to like go through those stages when you got this big tank that you could just be you know swapping out dolphins and i'm really wondering if they don't them. have the right conservation I don't know. Or the right resources for the dolphins. But it's weird because they've had them there for decades, though. Like, it's been there a long time. Well, that's why I'm saying, like, if it's a program they didn't want to grow, so, like, they just kind of let it go, if you will, and stopped investing in new training, new research, new whatever, and they finally hit the point where they're like, okay, now we either have to spend a lot of money and do this, or we get rid of them, so. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's probably going to be hard because you have, like, don't you have, like, clear water with, like, where Snowball came from? Yeah, I mean, there's other things in Florida with dolphins and stuff. Sure, Mm -hmm. rehabilitation for it that you don't. Well, interesting. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how the seas do. Um, But moving into the last piece of news for today, this one I was actually rather excited about. Tron is coming out of its virtual queue phase and has finally graduated into a standby line. Great, so I get to stand in line for two hours with you (laughs) instead of being like, "Okay, this is our time. Let's go." Mm -mm. Right, row. She just doesn't ride it, so she just gets angry when she has to wait in line for it. I don't know. I'm 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 excited um, because the one thing that I think Tron is going to do is help cut down the line at seven D. Oh, now ha! See, now all of a sudden it's making more sense. Possibly, when you're gonna go rope drop seven D, it's the only ride in the park people rope drop. Oh, now they're gonna rope drop that. Now there's a split of those that want to rope drop Tron. Unless they don't let you rope. They are. It's in Tomorrowland. Yeah. Okay. They're gonna rope drop Tron. Oh yeah, they're all gonna rush to that Mm -hmm. side of the park. Ooh. So I'm I'm hoping the drama unfolds. We'll see how many fights happen to get. Yeah, I mean it's already gone (laughs) to standby, and people were showing it and things like that. Um, and it looks like Disney was doing some research too about temperatures because I guess it was getting a little hot under there when you had to stand by line oh. for a little while. So mm-hmm. they had their little temperature monitors in there. So I'm thinking maybe we'll see some fans come in soon or something. Hmm. Um, but it is interesting like now that it's on standby and it's the same level as everything else, mm-hmm. is that going to help long term the rope drop at 7D? And now instead of 7D being zero to 90 minutes within like good. a sneeze. Good. Let all those people go over there and the people who don't like to ride that, we can get on 7D. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm actually kind of excited to see how this... Now, it is still a paid multi-lane pass, okay. so you could still skip the line and pay for it. Is 70 paid too or no? Yeah, 70 is the other paid. Okay. So they're now identical in the okay. in that arena, mm-hmm. if you will. But it used to be catch the virtual queue for Tron, go wait in line for 7D, get the best of both worlds, but now you have to choose. So now it should help kind of... Or you could just ride two rides. 
for the whole day. But I'm saying your, your rope drop. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, if you're going to spend the whole day on two rides, by all means. But it <laughs> should be interesting. But yeah, they cut the virtual queue. It is now a standby line. It already happened. So it is live in Florida. If you do go down, mm. you now can catch your own standby line at Tron. Are they putting a Tron in California? No. No. Is there a Tron anywhere else? Or is that Hong Kong? Because that's where it was first. That's where we it was were. First. Or no, 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 no. We Shang- the, one of them over overseas. We Shanghai, were the cookie Hong cutter. Kong. One of the one of the. Um, I want to say it was Shanghai. Yeah, now I'm second guessing myself. Sorry. Hang on, now I gotta Google this because I gotta see. Yep, it's Shanghai. I was wrong. Yeah, because we were the cookie cutter, and then we were complaining, <laughs> saying if it's cookie cutter, why is it taking this long? Yeah, that was the one that took four and a half years to build because COVID yeah, took its sweet right, time. Right. But yeah, so Tron's cut. So yeah, that's our news for today. We're going to take a quick break here. And then uh, Jen and Kat are going to go head to head here and battle on the Disney song game today. So oh, I have a chance to do a little, <laughs> little fun audio battle for all of you. Nice. So stay tuned. We'll be back with you soon. Welcome back, everybody, and thanks for hanging on with us through the break there. We are now time for today's Disney game. Yay! <laughs> Disney game, everybody. So today's Disney game is going to be a little bit of an old school game. It is the Disney song game. I'm going to play a clip of a song, mm-hmm. and you have to tell me the name of the song. Okay. You then have the opportunity for a bonus to tell me what movie that song is from. I am going to be specific on the movie, though. You can't just tell me Descendants. You've got to tell me Descendants 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or 10. Mm-hmm. The other thing is, if a person guesses and gets it wrong, the other person has an option for 15 more seconds of the song to better help them before they guess if nice. they want to try and steal. First one to 20 points wins the game. Are you ready? To rumble? Yes. To rumble. Let's do this. Here we go. I find it hard to say the things I want to say the most. I find a little bit of steady as I get close. I find a balance in the middle of the chaos. Send me last, send me high, send me never, then me I remember walking in the cold of November. Everybody likes the song. Does anybody know the song? No. We're going to play about 45 seconds of a song if you don't get it. Anybody want to take a stab in the dark? Three, two. I don't know. The song is called Zero. It is from Wreck It Ralph. Oh. Sung by Imagine Dragons. Yeah, I, I was. I don't know. I just couldn't I pick. It's a good song there, right there. It like, is I a great song. I can't pick this out. <laughs> All right. Well, we're starting off great. Neither one of you knew it. All right. Go strong. <laughs> Here we go. Cat. Cat. We don't talk about Bruno from Encanto. Very good. <laughs> Had to throw in an easy one. We got to get mm-hmm. this started. All right. Everybody ready for the next one? Mm-hmm. Here we go. Maybe. Here we go. Jennifer. Jennifer. You'll be in my heart, Tarzan. Very good. There we go. On the board. <laughs> and here's the next one. Cat. Cat. Happy working song. <laughs> Enchanted. Happy working song. <laughs> Enchanted. Wow, that was really quick. Good for Our you. Says we all sing a happy little working <laughs> song. I love that movie. Oh, man. Such a funny movie. <laughs> all right. Next up. Cat. <laughs> Cat. Speechless. Live action Aladdin. Live action Aladdin speechless. Very good, man. You're on a roll. Yeah. Here comes a wave meant to wash me away. Great song. Okay, next. All right, here we go. <laughs> 
What's in this song? This was I know a, the movie. I know this the was movie. for Emily who couldn't make it tonight. <laughs> She'll be so mad. <laughs> Love that. Cat. Cat. I'm going to guess nobody by Four Town and Turning Red. No, I'm sorry. Mm. That is not the name of the song. Yeah, I didn't think so. I'm so sorry. Uh, Jen, you get 15 seconds if you I want. know that the movie is Turning Red. I'm just trying to remember. I don't know the name of the song. Do you want your 15 seconds? Sure. All right. <laughs> I know that's Jordan Fisher singing. Uh huh. You never know all my mind. It's time. I, I, there's too many. I, I honestly don't know the name of the song. The lyrics were right the there. The song is too. "Nobody Like You." Nobody like you. Okay. Nobody like you. So sorry. Emily would be disappointed. Would she get the less. point though for turning red? Because she got that part. No, because right. you no. need the song name. The bonus point oh, is the movie. F- I need that. the song name gotcha, first. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Here we go. regret or sad at all hey i'm still a part of the family madrigal and i'm fine i am totally fine i will stand on the side as you shine i'm not fine i'm not fine i can't move the mountains i can't make that's 45 seconds. Jennifer? Jennifer. Is it family? Well, I don't know. What the, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's family. Madrigal? Yeah, Madrigal it is from, not. Enchant- from Encanto. It is not from Enchanted. Sorry, I'm going to say Encanto. No, the song is not family Madrigal. Uh, Do you I'll want. Take my 45 seconds. Yes. Uh, 15 seconds. Oh, I'm so sorry. But here it is. <sighs> I can't take another night. Um, I can't heal what's broken. Can't control the morning rain or a hurricane. That's I'm gonna your... go with waiting on a miracle. Waiting on a miracle from the movie. Encanto. Encanto. See, we just needed more of the dang song. <laughs> I know, that's why I was like, I've stopped guessing so quickly. <laughs> yes, <laughs> need, need more of the song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's the hard part. But like, if I played the whole song, then it's gonna right. be like Eventually it's gotta be a little bit of hold back. Who knows what they happy too with copyright? When we're playing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mm-hmm. Cat. Cat. It is touch the sky with brave. Touch the sky. Very good. You know that is my mother's like favorite song. Oh yes, I've heard. Yes, yes. <laughs> It is her favorite song. So there's there's a shout out to my mother on this too. Shout out Emily. We're shouting out my mother. Hopefully Who else on my family can I shout out in this episode? <laughs> All right, here we go. It's one of my favorite songs. Emily will judge you hard if you miss this. I know the movie. I'm oh, just thinking. Cat. The- Cat. It's Immortals by Big Hero Six. It's Im- Immortals Big Hero Six. Very good. Yes. It took me a whole second to realize yeah. what song that was. I was like, wait, what's the song? I know this. Mm. That's I'm like, I know the movie. I, I, I knew the <laughs> song title. That's what's hard about the song game. Everybody knows the movie. It's trying to remember well, the this song is the problem, title. Though. I feel like after a certain time period, like that's where you. it's hard to know the song name. Like There is so much catalog from when we were growing up that we know that stuff the back of our hand it's when you're going past a certain year of all these new disney movies getting put out like one after the other like now like it's just sometimes you've only seen the movie once 
And well, it all meshes brush together. Brush up on your Disney. Aye, aye, aye. Take a long drive. Start playing Disney. <laughs> yeah. Take a road trip. Take a plane trip. Let's go to Disney. Mm-hmm. Two hours to listen to music. We okay. got this. Let's, Let's do sure it. It's all new stuff. All right. Catch <laughs> us in the parks this weekend. I guess we're going. <laughs> I wish. All right. Here we go. Ready? Mm-hmm. You asked for older. Very underrated movie. It's one of your favorites. I'll even let it go a little bit longer. I am. The faces make it all. Cat. Is it a moment and it's Treasure Planet? It is not a moment. I'm sorry. Do you want to take a stab or want your 15 seconds? No, I, I have no idea. You'd be wasting your time on me because I really don't know. You play it anyways. Because had you taken your 15 seconds. You would have heard the title because that's what I thought it was. The song title is called I'm Still Here from Treasure Planet. Oh, my God. I haven't seen Underrated that Underrated so movie. Long. But you asked for older. I That's know, which is true. Which is true. I'm so over you. You showed me this movie once. <laughs> I might have only <laughs> watched it once when I was younger. What? That's oh, it. It's like one of my favorite it's movies. It's favorites. such an underrated Disney movie, but I love it so much. And I haven't seen it until like five years ago because RJ loves it. He's like, how have you not seen that? I'm like, pretty All easy. right. Here, Next. here we go. Cat. Cat. It's the Queen of Mean Descendants 2. It is not. I'm sorry. Jen, would you like your 15 seconds? Take it. Or can you take a guess? Sure, 15 take seconds. It. Okay. I'm so tired of pretending. Oh. Where's my happy ending? I followed all the rules. I drew inside the lines. I never asked for anything that wasn't mine. I waited patiently for my time, but when it... F- I guess I should clarify this. Queen of Mean was correct. I was gonna say you, I'm gonna. You are off right there. This is I, get I guess violence. now that I'm thinking about this, like Queen of Mean is correct, but oh. the movie Queen was the incorrect. See, I got sidetracked. Your printer started. Yeah, going off the, again. my printer being. Oh, I don't even know what it's the ghost. doing. It's weird. Because I knew the movie. So though. you didn't get the bonus point, but technically that was a bonus point. So and you that's did from get the Descendants question. Three, right? That was Descendants Three. Yeah. What's the score, sir? The score at this point is thirteen to two. What? Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Jen is getting oh, no. pretty well bumped over here. This is bad. Yeah, yeah. Emily, you should be proud. <laughs> You'd probably kick my butt. But all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw Jen a bone here. But there Let, are reasons for this. Let's see how quick this happens. Jennifer. Jennifer. Trash in the camp from Tarzan. Wow, that was literally three seconds. Yes, because I didn't see the. I know those all things. Typewriters. The little typewriters. All she needed. Wow. Mm-hmm. All right, now I'm going to throw a little monkey wrench in here, but this one's just for we fun. We love monkey wrenches. Good, because this one's going to be fun. Oh, 
Jennifer. Cat had it by a second. Cat. Is it magic is calling and it's like a Disney? I don't know. It's a Disney commercial, isn't it? The magic is calling from the Disney 50th. fireworks. It was the fireworks oh, show. The well, it's technically credited as the Disney 50th. Okay. It is the fireworks show. It's also the commercial that they run and the ads. It's uh-huh. just all encompassing. Can I at least get something for saying it's I'm from the fireworks point show? <laughs> all right. So well, I can at least get. <laughs> we'll split the points there because she did get magic is calling. I was like, what? It's a Disney song, just mm-hmm. not a Disney movie song. Movie. Oh, you know what? Here's another monkey wrench for the fun. Oh, okay, of it. here we go. Over your monkey wrenches. Jennifer. Yeah. Jennifer. It's the Enchanted Tiki Room at Disney's at um at Magic Kingdom and Disney World, and it's also at Disneyland. All right, I'm gonna give you the points. Well, it for should. That. Yeah, it's because it's, it's Walt Disney's Enchanted, Enchanted Tiki, Tiki Room. room. Technically, it's not, but I'll give it to you. What is it? The song is called The Tiki 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 Room. Hosted oh, at the Enchanted Tiki the Room. Tiki 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 Tiki. But I will give it to you. All right. Now, keeping it old school for a minute, mm-hmm. let's take it back. Cat. Cat. It's true to your heart. Yeah, it is true it's to your heart. Credits of Mulan, but I'm trying to think of the group that does it. I know, I know, I know. Jennifer, I know who sings it. That that is the two. The end credits. Okay, song. but there's no point for oh, it. But who sings it? Raven Simone sings "True to Your Heart." No. no, it's a group of people. What? Yeah. Ninety-eight degrees. Thank you. Oh, on one of the Disney Mania CDs, she sings "True <laughs> to Your Mania, Heart." But That's this, why. The one from the movie oh, is ninety-eight degrees. Okay, yeah, because one of the one that. I think it's like Disney Mania three, whatever the whatever co- the orange cover one is. I think the, the orange shirt. cover. I think we so. are that technical. Because Disney Mania one cover. is Let green. I know Disney it. Mania four is purple. Like all right. th- there's all these different. <laughs> Let me just throw that pull that out of my box real quick. Or wait, Jen. maybe the second one is orange. I have all of them. All right, right, it is sixteen to seven. Here's the next one. Okay. I can remember, but they're not gonna laugh anymore. No more Maxie the Geek, no more Goof of the Week like before. No more algebra tests till September. I don't know the name of the song. I don't know the name of it, I can tell you the movie. No more heaven to cheat. No more mystery me. No more Jim. No more Jim. No more Jim. No more Jim. The movie, the song's called After Today. The song is After Today. It's the Goofy movie? It is the Goofy movie. I was like, I knew the movie, and I know it's, again, one of your favorites, so I've heard I it. am very impressed with that one. Mm-hmm. I didn't think you guys would get it. Wow. So okay. it's 19 to? It is 18 to 7. Oh, 18 to 7. So you still have a chance. Okay, you just can't okay. let her get another one. You, you've taught me well. All right, here we go. For technically, could be the win. Well, little lady, let me elucidate. Cat. You. Cat. Everybody wants to be a cat, the aristocrat. Everybody wants to be a cat, uh, the aristocrat. No, sorry. I, that's one of my favorite movies. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, cat with a landslide victory today, twenty to seven. Good effort, Jen. Yeah. Good effort. But this was sad. <laughs> Well, with that, we will be right back with today's discussion topic. Thanks for joining us for the Disney song game. Welcome back, everyone, and it's time for our discussion segment. So in today's topic of our discussion, we're going to talk about the villains invading the Disney parks. Villain con! They are slowly coming Run in. Run everything! Villain taking con! over Princess Hall, Hollywood Studios, Magic Kingdom, everywhere. Jen got very <laughs> mysterious. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's getting ready for the season, that is. She is. She's Halloween, there. Halloween, everybody! <laughs> okay. So let's talk about... <laughs> let's talk about... <laughs> The villains legit taking over slowly the 
the Disney parks. I, I'm very excited that they are. I think Disney is finally listening. I, your number one party that you do every year is the Halloween party. Mm-hmm. Why? Because it's villain focused. Everywhere across every park, Halloween is popular because mm-hmm. the villains take over the parks. Mm-hmm. You get the parades, you get the shows, the meet and greets. People like the villains. But here's the real question. Villains take over. Great. You got, you know, like she said, they got a show now coming. You're going to have a whole villain land. Uh-huh. Does Halloween sales take up? Oh. I don't think so. No, because I think there's things that you're not going to see. It's like Jack Skellington, I guess, Oogie Boogie. I don't think you're going to see much in The Nightmare Before Christmas. You won't mm-hmm. see Hocus Pocus. Um, you know, those are <laughs> Halloween themed villains that they're going to bring out just for the party. Correct. And not only mm-hmm. that, but your parade is more and than that. They do a haunted mansion float mm-hmm. and they do, you know, you have the, why well, can't think of the name, but the, the grave diggers, grave diggers and they do the shovel things and you have the headless horsemen. Mm-hmm. So your favorite that goes into Halloween than just yeah. villains, than just villains, but it's villain focus, which is what mm-hmm. everybody enjoys. And I think with a permanent villain show and villain land, I don't think you're going to lose the love of Halloween. In fact, I only think you're going to see it get bigger. Hmm. It'd be kind of cool because I guess they could do like them crawling out of the land and like they're taking well, over Princess Hall. and Yeah, like Royal look Hall at the Halloween whatever. party. Mm-hmm. Now Royal Hall got taken over and you see Maleficent, the evil queen. Mm-hmm. I think it's just those two. But they they stand in Royal Hall now and that's a treat trail. And then you get to see them. Kind of similar to how California does it, which I love how California does it. And if you saw California this year in the freaking Haiti stage, <laughs> I'm so... So mad I didn't go out there for that. I still might. You might just find me randomly in California. All of a sudden, hey guys, look where I am. I'm not Ron? Gonna... I don't know. He's in California. Look at the yeah, Snapchat map. He's all the way over there. We're all over here. <laughs> Five hour flight and I can see Hades. I'm kind of there. <laughs> so don't get me wrong. Um, no, I don't think you lose any of that. I think it only keeps it alive year long. But I'm also happy because if you remember way back, there used to be a Villains in Vogue gift shop in Hollywood studios and it had Hmm. all villain merch shirts tumblers pins like everything Disney merch wise but it was villain focused and Hmm. then they took that out and then randomly in gift shops you might find villain stuff but for a while you never saw villain stuff and then Halloween started rolling it now you're seeing it more consistently but you never were before so I am excited because now with the show in Hollywood studios you're probably going to see some kind of gift shop around it a gift stand something Mm -hmm. like that in that corner and you know the merch is going to be out of this world when it comes to the new villains land and magic kingdom Mm -hmm. yeah so you're finally seeing a dedicated footprint year round of villains Mm -hmm. so i am excited for that but i'm just happy disney's finally listening right like it seems like for and the other things too how you notice all of a sudden emperor's new groove is showing up uh disneyland paris did the disney 2000s night and they had all of the, they had Kronk, Yzma, and they had Cusco, Emperor Cusco, and Cusco Lama Cusco. That's so oh, cool. I didn't see that. I just saw. Um, yeah. Um, What's his name? Um, Kronk. Kronk. Yeah, I saw cr- the video of that. I never saw anyone else besides Kronk, Kronk. Yzma, Emperor Cusco, and Lama That's Cusco. That's cool. Uh-huh. And for so long, how much, how have we been begging mm-hmm. to see Emperor's New Group? How about... Hollywood Studios getting Monstropolis and getting a Monsters Inc. ride where you mm-hmm. ride on the doors. How long have people been saying how fun of a ride that would be and we want to see Monsters Inc.? Right. I mean, it's 2024 and we're finally seeing IPs from 2000. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. It's taken them long enough. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm glad they're finally listening and we're mm-hmm. seeing that roll. And you only know it's that important and that big because that was the last announcement of D23. And they, they really worked it up too. Yeah. The way they did that the at the Notre end. Notre Dame music. Da, da, da. Like <laughs> it just the whole nine yards of it. Right. They knew how big this was going to be. What's interesting though is that they announced at D23 about this whole villain's land. Yeah. And then they go weeks <laughs> later announcing hey everyone guess what? Um, Lightning McQueen's Academy is going away at Hollywood Studios. Is that the name? It's Lightning McQueen Racer Academy. Racer yeah. Academy. That's going away, and we're bringing in a villain show. And I'm like, huh? Weeks after announcing about a villain's land in another park at Disney World, then you're bringing a villain show here, which we I get. We're not going to get it. For, we're not getting villains land for a while. Yeah, like 28 or something yeah, like that. Yeah, so it was just. 
I was just confused. I think they're just trying to build up the hype and like make people yeah. excited. I, I mean, think I they were excited, but the rest of the world. I think they were over. They were worried about overshadowing one another. Right. I think a villain's land versus a villain's show mm-hmm. land's gonna over trump the show, and I think they wanted the hoopla. Right. But why not just save that show then for villains land when it opens and put a show that makes more sense in Hollywood studios. I guess to me it just it still seems out of place that the villain show is going to be at Hollywood Studios. I was going to say the short answer is Racers Academy sucks. Which is true. <laughs> like the the animatronic it, it, of Lightning McQueen is awesome, but the show is so boring. Well, like that, you don't want to sit through it. That is the only thing in that entire building that is worth it was that animatronic. Right. They could have made another show though besides villains. Yeah, the seating is benches. Yeah, like bleacher benches. Mm-hmm. It is air conditioning, which is nice, <laughs> but yeah, bleacher benches. Mm-hmm. The show's all on a screen. It, it just no. The, the show sucked. It needed a place. Mm-hmm. But then I guess my next question is: If not villains, then what? You say you put something in that makes more sense. Mm-hmm. What makes more sense? I was say, what else is around there? Anything? Well, in that corner, that's rock and roller coaster. Uh, that's you Tower the of Terror. The show. You already got Indiana Jones. You already have Frozen. So I'm trying to think of what else. And it's a small stage, so you've got to do an animatronic, maybe one or two character type that like you couldn't do an. They're Indiana. making it seem like that's gonna be like a big stage area, though. The way like those. Well, if you take the car off it, you could put a couple of people on there. But I'm saying like an Indiana mm-hmm. Jones, you couldn't do a stunt show. You mm-hmm. could do a Frozen. I mean, it's a big screen and then a stage. You could do that. Your but Hades room is coming to Disney World. They're oh, taking, I'm so... Do you know taking, how... They're taking you down to California and moving it. You know how excited I would be if that was... Oh, I would be... I would be jumping mm-hmm. for joy. I'm trying to think what would make better sense, though. See, because that, that's my whole thing in this, is at least villains is universal. It, it, it could go in any park and we could make it work. Depending on the villains, mm-hmm. you could pretty much make it work across the board. But like Hollywood Studios has, I think it has an identity Move crisis Muppets right now. Over there. Yeah, I mean, well, it's not a bad idea. Move Muppets, you just redid that. I'm the show high tech. Put that over there. I really or think... or that area could have technically been where they put the Monsters Inc. land. I don't know how much land you have in that corner. Right. If you were to abolish the theater, I don't think you'd have Because back there enough. you have the rock and roller coaster. You have Tower of Terror. So like, that's the thing. You also have to put stuff that makes sense over there. I don't well, know. It's, Hollywood Studios, I think, has a little bit of an identity crisis. It's true. Like, it was originally around movie themes. And mm-hmm. so you saw like the movies and the, the stunt show and the backlot tour. and everything. Yeah. Now you've got Star Wars. You've got Frozen. You've got Runaway Railway. You've got Tower of Terror, Toy Story Land. There are so Such many. Such a mod confused, pause. Okay? It Just is. It, it has an identity crisis. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I agree with your point. I don't think villains help fixes that identity crisis. They could have brought in... Um I'm trying to think of Disneyland or who there was a, a, a outdoor stage show somewhere where it was like a with a map um, where they brought in a bunch of different Disney movies at some other park. Like they could do a whole show like. and bring in a bunch of like a bunch of the Disney movies where it's a Maj Paj type show. It sounds like you're together at Disneyland Paris. There's what I was. Oh, 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 so like yeah. you have a show oh. that brings in your Star Wars. You bring in like you can feed on what is already in the park and it could be an, like because this is gonna be an original villain show that they're doing. You know, I, I guess in my head, if you were to do something with Hollywood Studios, I would like to see an expansion of Pixar, not Toy Story. Yeah, where there's enough Pixar. Like you get a le- Pixar Pier cap? Not a Pixar yeah. Pier. You don't have the room for it. And the, the headlining ride is already there with Toy Story Mania. So like you could hypothetically, if you wanted to, rebrand Rock and Roller Coaster to mm-hmm. um They won't a, No, they I, I'm saying in this version of it, re because you think Pixar Pier, you have Incredicoaster, you have the Ferris wheel. You have, because I can't think of the technical name for the Ferris wheel at the moment, but then you have Jesse's. Pixar Pal Around. Pixar Pal Around. Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> um, then you have Jesse's Critter Carousel. You have Toy Story Mania. Inside Out. You emotion. have the wor- Emotional like, Whirlwind. And then you start getting that stuff on the side, which I don't think like is. Jellyfish. And yeah, but I don't it's think. random the, stuff. The Jellyfish Jumpers and the Zephyr. Goofies. But I don't think that's part of Pixar school. Pier. I think no, that's, that's the. Like a, that over there. Yeah, that's before you So enter you take it. Toy Story Mania out of it. You need a coaster and you need, like, I guess you don't need a Ferris wheel, but you need a third something. So you could mm-hmm. rebrand Rock and Roller Coaster to Pixar themed. 
not just in credit coaster, but something Pixar themed and then make the show and kind of get away with it. But that would be the thing I would like to see Hollywood studios do is expand Pixar. I like they can't take Avengers campus. Cause no, they can't. That's because of the licensing uh, fight with universal. They can't put Avengers in Florida. That's why we got guardians. Cause it's, Anything Only Marvel word. characters that appear in the comic books that they have the rights to. So you can't do the classic, the Captain Americas, the Iron mm-hmm. Mans, the Spider Mans, things like that. But Guardians of the Galaxy, you can. Um, there's something else they can too. That's that's technic because you can't do X Men out there. Um, but there's a couple of things mm-hmm. that you you can and can't do. But I guess I would like to see it if you're going to give it an identity, give it more Pixar. Yeah, but. I'm a diehard villain fan, so I'm not upset we're getting a right. villain show. To me, I'm just confused over the choice yeah, like, in the placement. You're going to start rotating shows out of there. I mean, villain goes out, goes into villain's land. You're going to switch it over to something. It's new. possible that they're A-B testing, run a couple of different villain shows over the next year or two, change and it up. transfer it. Yeah, and then see what people like, what it's people true. don't, and then put in a different show in in Magic, Magic Kingdom. Yeah. I don't think they would necessarily pull it out and move it over, but I think they're going right. to A, B test it. What villains do people, oh my God, right. which ones are they like? Because we also don't that? even know if they're going to be putting a theater back in, like we don't know how big of an area they're technically taking up to be like, well, how many rides are they going to put back in Villains Land? Yeah. Um, how many restaurants? Are they going to even have room for a stage like or an amphitheater or something? They'll put, yeah. I, mm. Like I'm that's the thing. Because I feel like we take from here and then sprinkle it over here a little and we take from here we sprinkle it over here a little it's like yeah. we welcome to disney have- <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I know but the theme it's like area. the theme there it's becoming weak it has an identity crisis yeah. all you every other park has an identity epcot is known as the technological advanced park and the, and the international countries. park i mean that that's what they go for and that's what they did for years with the innovations and stuff now they're kind of keeping that spacey galactic feel with spaceship earth and with guardians Mm -hmm. and with mission space and space 220 okay that has an identity animal kingdom the identity is in the name we know it's anything animal wildlife yes and then magic (laughs) kingdom is the classic magical fantasy we know it Mm -hmm. hollywood studios when it changed from mgm it's an identity crisis and they keep mod podging crap in there Theoretically, Star Wars made sense because it was a movie franchise. Yeah. You brought into a movie park, Mm -hmm. Hollywood Studios. The one that doesn't make it to me is Runaway Railway. It is a... Which is true. I would have found a place in Magic Kingdom. Look at Disneyland and theirs. They put it in Toontown. Toontown. But didn't we... Well, behind Fantasyland, Toontown, didn't they? We, we had did. one. We got rid of it. When the new that's Fantasyland, new Fantasyland expan- expansion but happened, but that's what I'm saying. Find a place in Magic Kingdom if you're going to put that in. Mm-hmm. It doesn't really make sense to go we'll in the Gromit to- Theater in Hollywood sa- Studios because be- with MGM Studios, it was going behind the scenes of the making of the movies. Yes, that's why they had the tour where you could see what happened in the animation studio. They had the right. back lot tour. All of that the stuff. The stunt show. Right. And then it was kind of then step into the movie. So that's why you're going into step a into land. Hollywood, right. Like. Then you go down Hollywood Correct. Boulevard. And Tower of Terror was a movie. And yes. Rock and Roller Coaster wasn't. But, but you know, it still fits in the... And the mm-hmm. Beauty and the Beast uh, stage show. That was a movie that yeah. they made into a live... Everything Indiana fits. Jones. There, it's a behind the scenes of, a, of them making a movie too. But then once you added Toy Story Land, while cute... And I can make the argument it was a stepping movie that you're bringing movie, in, yeah. but now you're stepping into Pixar. You're stepping into cartoon. And that's never been Hollywood Studios' angle. Nothing has ever been cartoon-focused. Star Tours before you had Galaxy's Edge. They had the Little Mermaid show, though. That's but that was a, Which is coming back. Yes. <laughs> which is coming back. But that was a live performance. It was taking the movie so, and yeah. turning it into a stage show. Same with Beauty and the Beast. Toy Story literally stayed cartoon. Toy Story Mania. Spa- yeah. uh, Except so, you're stepping into like the toy world by... Right. And, and, and then you have that what that alleyway that was like Pixar alley or whatever that really like, Pizza like Rizzo and stuff like that. No, 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 no. I'm talking about in front of toy story land. There's that small, Oh, that, the, we old met Frozo. Entrance. Yeah. the old entrance to and toy story mania. To toy story mania. And then and that was, um, there's an Edna mode meet and greet back there. The in Frozo. Incredibles. They called it. Uh, it was something, but it's like yeah. nicknamed Pixar alleyway. Cause it's kind of what it is, but mm-hmm. kind of not, you get the Jack Jack cookie yeah, down yeah, there. Yeah, it's like the Incredibles. Now. So, and then you get to the other side. You had Muppets, you had Streets of America, mm-hmm. and you have the Muppets show. Everything kind of fits in that Hollywood theme. And then it died because it's so sad back there. <laughs> well, it did, and everything died back there. But I just, from an identity front, I don't think Toy Story Land made sense to go into Hollywood as much. 
I think it's great land. I'm not upset it, but I don't think it fit that identity. Yeah. And I don't think the villain's land fits the identity. I think that's where you really start to fade out of the movie theming. And Mickey's mm-hmm. Runaway Railway had no no reason. It's not like you're stepping into the movie with that. It's just they, they put in a Mickey and Minnie short I ride mean, into are, that but theater. You are because it literally... Well, up but see that's what they had the, to do because you had to, to fit the theme they the came to fit the theming they had to come out of the screen and you go into the but that's all it is like it was a very loose because then the actual thing has nothing to do with a the movie they're riding the train and doing the picnic like you oh be- no you become the, the whole time <laughs> yeah so I, I again i love runaway railway it's a great ride it wrong is, placement of a park i think so i think it should have went in magic mm-hmm. kingdom somewhere i don't think it should have hollywood went over studios to. needs an intervention they're having their identity crisis we and need honestly to establish what is going on with you honestly what well, do you want your park to be about <laughs> while i get the space connection i almost think guardians would have better better at hollywood studios Same. than at epcot mm-hmm. while i understand and the they space it. theming I think it would have made sense mm-hmm. to go to Hollywood Studios, mm-hmm. keep the Star Wars, Marvel, mm-hmm. all your movie franchises right. in one. Park. They were just trying to figure out, well, what big ticket attraction we can we put there? Yeah, because they haven't had one really in a long time. No, but you know, this is we talked about it, and this was a podcast a while ago. But we talked about like things you could do to Epcot and adding like the Encanto House into Epcot and keeping the cultural piece of it mm-hmm. and now you're getting that yeah, in Animal, Animal Kingdom. Kingdom. And mm-hmm. again, same thing. Like I understand because they're focusing it on Antonio's gift and the animals, but I still don't think that necessarily makes sense in Animal Kingdom. I think it makes sense in Epcot. Mm-hmm. So I, I get it. Disney can make connections and things that I may not agree with, but at least they're there. Mm-hmm. I just, I really think out of everything, Hollywood Studios has an identity crisis that is not going to get better with the villain show i think the villain show is going to kick ass i'm going to fly down and see it as soon as it opens <laughs> mm-hmm. hopefully we're popular enough we can get a disney invite and see it before it opens <laughs> fingers crossed there mm-hmm. but in any version of this i think it'll be a good show i just mm-hmm. i think it doesn't belong in hollywood studios mm-hmm. same i almost think it could be seen in magic kingdom now as a preamble to the villain park coming mm-hmm. down the way that would have been a cool stage show for Halloween. Yeah, that would have been. Even like a whole nope. castle fireworks show. <laughs> Don't you dare. Don't well, you dare take my well, hocus pocus. Well, right, but you could have done, um, like for their Halloween fireworks show, it could have been a whole storyline with that. Listen, I'm just saying. I mean, it, it's it's villain based already, like for that, but I, I get the point. I'm there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't Kat's like, don't take away my hocus don't pocus. Don't take it away. I didn't say it. <laughs> more, hey, more the merrier. They can add even more shows for more entertainment. Maximizing we're, your ticket costs. It's nighttime here, kids. The <laughs> one thing I wish, though, is I wish they had let out a little bit more about the storyline of the show. Yeah. Like in the preview, it's showing the magic mirror as Mask, the. Yeah. Which makes sense because that's, I mean, that's Phantasmic's kickoff to villains is the magic mirror. That was the announcement at D23 was the magic mirror. It's like the dude appears only when he needs to tell the story. Yeah. I get it. But they didn't really line into, you know, Hades and Jafar are planning on stealing the magic and Listen, they probably to... don't even know, so let it go. <laughs> Watch. It's still in development. Everyone in their office is still arguing about the plot line. Oh, Hades and Jafar. Oh, I like that. Hang on a second. <laughs> we'll put out we'll you know what? We'll read the comment section and we will steal <laughs> from one of their conspiracy theories of what it's about. We will We're gonna it. let puppies run through the audience and Cruella teach us how to catch them. <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> is that your souvenir that'd be a lot of puppies no 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 no. do you know how many parents would hate disney if they we're Mom, not going to this it show. can rain hundred dalmatian stuffed animals we all take a stuffed animal home no i want the puppy <laughs> <laughs> i want the real puppies mommy can we keep him no how are we gonna fly him home stuff him in the suitcase hopefully he makes <laughs> it <laughs> put him in the carry-on <laughs> nobody will notice it's fine TSA. What the? It's a stuffed animal. It's okay. <laughs> it it barks on command. Burp, burp, burp. <laughs> oh, man. PETA would be after them so fast. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be Galaxy Edge all over again when nobody could take the detonators home. Oh, the pop bottles? Yeah. 
Are the, did that ever get like sorted out? Yeah, I mean, I think people can now. I don't think there's much of a, a issue anymore. That's just so silly that that even happened. <laughs> that there was an issue. I think it's crazy from the jump because at the end of the day, it was a bottle of Coke. Yeah, it just had a wrapper printed plastic, on it. Like, yeah, a plastic TSA wrapper. is gonna throw that much of a fit over it? Come on. I mean, TSA on a daily, you see these news reports every six months. Oh, they've only let 22% of firearms through or 19 knives got through this week. But we're going to stop the soda pop that's dressed like a detonator. Give me a break. Listen, I don't know what kids are putting in their bottles these days. I don't know. I'm just saying with TSA, they got bigger fish to fry than a pop bottle. But yet that was the story for months on how I bought this bottle of Coke and now I can't take it home. And people were FedExing at home because they couldn't get it through TSA. Oh, my gosh. You know what? Speaking of FedExing, as I randomly think about this now, Mm -hmm. did you see the new thing down in Disney Springs? The headband? Tell me more. Disney Springs got rid of their shipping at the the stores. No. So, like, if you go to World of Disney downtown in Disney Springs. You can't ship things home. No. Oh, I... What? (laughs) Go find your own FedEx. Literally. Go find your own FedEx. They installed... A, I think it's a UPS actually, but it might be a. I forget which one it is. They put a shipping station in Disney Springs. No now. way. After you buy your stuff, you have to go down. You have to, to the, walk it down and take it there and pay for your own shipping money, there. Money, what? Money. And apparently, the shipping is a lot more expensive than, like, when you ship to Disney. Disney would say, "Oh no, all this is twenty dollars to ship," and you just pay the shipping. When you go down there, it's now like forty five dollars. Oh my god! But they do the. Sh- it's a legitimate. Like, f- I, I want to say it's. F- I want to say it's UPS, but don't quote me on that. I don't even know where my phone is. There is some Google type it, of shipping. There is at FedEx or UPS, That's one of the insane. two. But now if you buy your stuff in Disney Springs and want to mail it, you actually have to go down and ship it yourself. They have boxes in there that you, oh, for the low, low price, you can purchase the boxes because you need to you ship in a pay, box. You have to pay for the box and, and the then tape. ship the box and pay Mind for the you, shipping. Just the yep. merchandise you just bought. And then Every pay for the inch shipping. of tape is a dollar. <laughs> but that's that's literally how it is so it used to be where disney would wrap it and box it for you and you just paid shipping mm-hmm. now they have a ship station down in disney springs oh boy reminded me when you said faxing <laughs> the pop i was like oh that's like i forgot to mention that but yeah now it's a new shipping station down there too wow, wow. to my understanding though you can still ship from the parks but well, disney, yeah, we'll see how much longer but disney springs for all you know that could be coming that's gonna be next to city hall it's gonna be city hall and then the post, post office, office. All your shipping needs I don't. It's not far fetched. It's not the way far how fetched. Things are going. Honestly, I could see it being a Disney in the parks. I could see it being a Disney ship station. Well, technically, a, can't you like like people have done it where they send their wedding wedding invites from Disney because it gets postmarked with like Main Street Disney. Yes. Like, oh, but see, postage. that's the mailbox. That's an actual USPS monitored mailbox, and Disney empties that and. The USPS takes it, and that post office, their stamp is the castle and the Main Street stamp. Oh, that's cool. That's what I'm saying. Though, yes, because it's like it's not that far. But that's just a it. box at Main Street. But this would this be would actual be a, shipping sure, station. Sure, they got plenty of storefront. Oh no, I, I'm not saying. I think they'll gonna do it. I honestly think in the next year or two, you're gonna see it in the parks. I think what you're gonna start to see is you have to buy the items since you want. Mm-hmm. They might bring back shipping to the front of the park. Mm-hmm. And you could send it to the mail station, but I'm going to see it now where you can't ship from the random stores in the park and just get that little yellow like slip. Gonna You're going to have to go up front, go to do your office. own shipping, and pay for it yourself up front oh, boy. based on current rates. Ouch. Yeah. Otherwise, make sure you're buying things that you can fit back in your suitcase. <laughs> bring a suitcase big enough to bring all of your merchandise home. I was going to say, honestly, depending on how much merch you plan on buying, it is actually cheaper in most cases to just bring an empty suitcase, pay the $50 carry-on fee, so 100 bucks round trip, compared to the 75 to to $100 worth of shipping costs in <laughs> In theory, that you that you're gonna have to incur. You know, you never know. Some of these items are so expensive, and if they're bulky, forget about it. I mean, FedEx is gonna charge you out the wazoo. <laughs> Might be cheaper just to bring a suitcase, pay the baggage fee. <laughs> but yeah, I, I thought that was new too. Is where is where I know we kind of got off the villains piece of it, but um, that reminded me of when we were shipping the detonators. But <laughs> coming back All full good. circle, then. I want to propose a, a general question then. We know Magic Kingdom's getting a villain's land. Mm-hmm. We know Hollywood Studios is not getting a villain's show. Mm-hmm. Which part do you think gets something villain next? Do we see it pop up in Animal Kingdom or do we see it pop up in Epcot? It's easier to pop up in Animal Kingdom, I feel like. 
Because, yeah, you got the all, all the animal villains like Scar and... Yeah, Scar and stuff like that. So it'd be easier to pop up in Animal Kingdom. But I'm like, what do you do? You switch over to Epcot and put in like... It could even just be a Like a and Thanos great. and stuff. But I'm like, you can't use... There are certain things you can't do. Yeah. You're limited on a Marvel villain front, but not anywhere else. I have something that I'm going to propose here that may be mm-hmm. totally crazy, but I could see it happening. They take out the Pixar Short Film Festival. That's next to Figment. That's next to Figment. Mm-hmm. No, I'm vetoing it. They right haven't now. put any new shorts on there in a while. There's only like the same four shows that have been so shown. They make a villain short. They make a villain's film you already have a theater and the seats move and it's like they do the rumble and the, it's like a 4d theater type thing anyways mm-hmm. and you could put in some type of villain attraction and you have that meet and greet next door that you use for mickey and friends mm-hmm. you could turn that into a villain meet and greet and meet Why some of the epcot they, villains it's not that far fetched because they already what have the theater there in for um tough to be a bug was a that is a zootopia that's right okay and then they're doing the Latin America piece where they're building the carousel and the Encanto house and mm-hmm. yes, Indiana yes. Jones taking over Dinosaur. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Which is why I think, too, Epcot's the only one without anything really slated. The, Ep- the space... That's the obvious. That they spaceship Earth Lounge. Ooh. But out of D23, Epcot had the least amount of new stuff coming in. Yeah, but they're getting the test track revamp. No, I know I'm there, but that's well, why I'm saying, saying where to put the vil- anything. That's why I'm villain. saying Epcot could literally cookie cut in with structure they have and put in a villain show and a villain's meet and greet next door. Hmm. I don't know if you would do two villain shows in two parks, but you could do something. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think a villain meet and greet in Epcot could be interesting. Meet some of the different Epcot villains. Like who? Are you going to put Hans of the Southern Isles? could put Hans of the Southern Isles. You could put... Um, uh, what's the guy from Ratatouille? What is the little French dude? Oh, gosh. I can't think of his I name. I don't remember his Igor? name. No, it's not Igor. I don't remember, but you could do that one. Um, you could put in... Well, you couldn't really do a Scar meet and greet, could you? be a little weird. You'd have to do like an animatronic. It'd be kind of weird. Yeah, because I was like, you could do... And in Nemo, you would have... Yeah, all right, maybe... I don't Nemo. know. Does Nemo even have a villain? Shark? Technically, no. Sharks, I guess. No, Bruce. not Bruce. Bruce. The people for taking the fish from their environment. Yeah, the dentist. Pete Sherman. Mar- um, um, uh, Darla. Darla. I want to say Marla. <laughs> Marla was around. I was thinking Marlin. Darla. <laughs> Darla's the villain. Fishy, wake up. Fishy. I, don't I feel like, like we're really this. stretching it thin now when we, get, <laughs> when we get into that aspect of it. No, but it's interesting. I mean, Epcot really is the only one without any new stuff happening in the next. I mm-hmm. could see a villain's overlaying in there i mean they yeah, built that really really fancy party. cafeteria they could talk about the like with living with the land and like you know the all the good things the are doing the, they <laughs> they could be talking about the what are the villains like it's us polluting it's like they could talk about more stuff with the environment <laughs> All right, now I think we're in the. <laughs> now I really think we're stretching. Edu- the educational part. Whoa. <laughs> okay then. We've gone around the bend here. Um, but they built that really really nice cafeteria, so you know there's some great meet and greets in there. I mean, the cafeteria. Did you see that for food and wine festival? No, I have not. Oh my god, it, they didn't do anything with it, but put the merch in there. They were, but how there's come like they kept p- saying they're like, "Oh, we're gonna put a big statue here." Yeah, no, there's things. a pop-up stand with the food and wine merch is in the middle so of that cafeteria. Not Lazy. Anymore? No, it's in that now in Odyssey. It's just the Muppets Lab for the food testing, and they got rid of the table after the first 24 hours. I was so mad what at that. They got rid of the table for food and wine this year because the merch wasn't there and they had the extra room. They wow. built a Doctor Beaker, oh. um, or doc, um. What is, what is Beaker's? I don't know. It's Beaker's the assistant. Beaker's the assistant. The, the, I, don't know the doc, I can't think of his name. They built a desk, mm-hmm. all like a workstation. It had all these props and all this stuff on it, and it literally looked like the taste lab, right? Mm-hmm. There were so many kids running up and touching the props and moving the stuff on the table and not being watched. Disney took the table out in 24 hours. Oh, that's so sad. They said it, it, it was getting too messed around with, and they couldn't keep the stuff safe. So they took the whole table out. So now there's just this gap. But it was really, really cute hmm. aesthetic to the room, to the whole thing. And they had to take it out in 24 hours because parents can't watch their oh, grumbly man. little kids. And they were throwing props and moving stuff. Why didn't and you just glue them to the table and make it a photo op to call it a day? I don't know why they didn't just rope it off. Like, here's the thing. Don't touch it. Mm-hmm. But nope. Oh, they sco- scooped the whole thing out. That's sad. But yeah, the cafeteria is just a pop-up stand for Food and Wine Festival. It's not even like, hmm. there's nothing. It's just still a glorified cafeteria. That's nice. I know. 
Well, I think that pretty much wraps up the discussion topic tonight. Yeah, we covered many things. We did. We really <laughs> bounced around. But that's the fun part about these discussion topics. It doesn't always just have to live on the topic. Mm-hmm. We can volley around. We can around. go. We can ping pong. All yeah, the place, have some so. fun. I mean, that's what this is all about. And we hope that you guys value that at home and get some use out of our conversations and participate. Keep commenting. Make sure to leave a comment below on this. Make sure to subscribe. We love the content on there. We love talking to everybody. Um, I love getting comments sent on our Facebook page or our YouTube channel of talking about this stuff. And we've had some great conversations with fans online. So please keep commenting. If you guys need any help with Disney, of course, RGT Travels is always there to help. Let us know if you have any questions. Reach out to any one of us or Disney experts, all certified travel agents, and would be happy to help you and get you guys set up and on your next Disney trip, whether it's land, world, see you name it we'll get you out there Mm -hmm. go to paris tokyo shanghai whatever it is we'll help get you there so remember that but like i said subscribe below so you always get the newest content for castle to castle podcast check out all of our social media channels we're on everything you can think of and as always thanks guys for joining us and we'll see you here next time thank you for listening to the castle to castle podcast Make sure you check out our social media and visit us online at www.castletocast.com.